Small town America is a cherished tradition. Though the landscape of the country is painted with agriculture, the economic driver, especially in Iowa, is manufacturing. Next on Elevate Iowa, learn how North Iowa is preserving rural American life by protecting manufacturing. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. North Iowa has an unusual problem. Unemployment is extremely low. And the problem with low unemployment is that it can be hard to find more employees as manufacturers grow. And they are growing. I've been past chair of the Iowa Association Board of Industries, and that's their number one issue is workforce training and the availability of skilled talent. We're better off than a lot of other states with the core and the skills that our people have, but we want to keep them in the state and sometimes they don't realize uh, the capabilities here or think things maybe are a little brighter on the other side of the river, uh, so to speak. Uh, but often they like to come back to raise families and the quality of life is really wonderful here in Iowa. If being getting to different places in a very short period of time and uh, uh, the family atmosphere, uh, which is a type of atmosphere we particularly emphasize within our company and a little bit easier since we're family owned and operated. If you pull up the Cerro Gordo County uh, Job and Employment Board, I think we got about 750 jobs that are posted uh, as available right now. We hear all the time about uh, a lot of jobs that are not going filled, that they work for six months to a year to fill. Uh, I think when you look at our seven county region, there's about 1,600 or 1,700 jobs on filled. So it's, it's a big number and that's a scary number, frankly. It's, it's positive, it means we got a lot of opportunity. But if it's a struggle to fill those jobs, employers start to get worried. I think small town America is, is fantastic. Um, I grew up in a small town. I made a decision to live in a small town. I know when I went to college, uh, most of my roommates moved away and went to large cities. Most of them, when they came back, wanted to uh, have families. They moved back to small town Iowa. Uh, so I think it's important that uh, the small towns thrive. With the help of NIAC, um, with our manufacturing board sector and the communication available. I, I think uh, we're on that road. There's one place that really meets those needs and it's our community colleges. NIAC is uniquely positioned to fill these job trades, the skilled trades, um, you know, manufacturing, electricians, maintenance, uh, robotics. You know, the community college has always been a, a place where people come to pick up skills that fill the jobs at, at our large manufacturer, whether it be Winnebago, Sukup Manufacturing, uh, Stellar Industries, and, and we'll, we'll continue to be in that role. What, what's really happened, in, in my estimation, is that the pipeline is a bit broken, is that we don't necessarily have enough students to fill the opportunities that we have in our program and the opportunities in the workforce. I grew up around a shop, around a mechanic shop with my dad and my grandpa. My grandpa actually used to work at White Farm in Charles City, which he was a machinist there, so he kind of said, yeah, I enjoyed it, which I've I've, I've loved it ever since I've got here, so I've, I really enjoy it. Since growing up around mechanics and stuff, I have a use for working with my hands. I kind of chose the program because I grew up working on a farm and we always had to fix problems and stuff. That's where Tool and I, you're fixing problems and coming up with different ideas, how to make something easier or better. Our goal is to fix that pipeline through this IM process and begin to develop a pipeline um, not only for to fill the seats at NIAC, but ultimately to fill the, the jobs that are available in industry. And if we do that well, we'll be able to maintain and, and retain our manufacturers that are so important to our region and our state. We do have a partnership with NIAC, and I sit on a manufacturing sector board with them, and we meet on a monthly basis. And what it is, it's, it's trying to keep people in North Iowa. Winnebago Industries is uh, based out of Four City, Iowa. Uh, we have about 2,850 employees currently. Uh, we manufacture motorhomes. There's a lot of jobs. Manufacturing's changed a lot. 
in the course of my employment here, where it's not just running a screw gun anymore, there's a lot more to it, uh, from blueprint reading to CNC routers and so forth. The technology's advanced tremendously, and it's not just a job anymore, no, it's a career. I just thought the CNC and all that stuff was pretty neat, and the instructors really, when I came and toured, they, they pretty much sold me on the program, so I was, I, I was pretty excited. Something different every day and working with my hands, not sitting around, just working and making stuff, and I like, I, I like it. Like, we have two aluminum blocks, say, just for example, they're roughly this big, and they'll just come together. Plastic will shoot in from one end, fill it, then the two pieces come apart, and our part drops out. We stick a pail of cold water underneath so it kind of cools down because the plastic's hot. I read somewhere over the weekend that um, you know 80% of the people that are in, employed right now have bachelor's degrees and they're working outside of their field. I think it's just important people understand a pathway to a lifestyle that they want and, and, and something that they're passionate about and know that they can make a difference not only for themselves but their family. For example, we're standing in an advanced manufacturing location here. Someone who runs the maintenance of a large manufacturer it's going to make seventy to hundred thousand dollars a year. That's that's a livable wage, a, a great a great living. North Iowa is a really beautiful, diverse area. Uh, we've got a lot of business and industry really across the spectrum. So we have, uh, I, I'd say, opportunities in just about every job classification, from your you know high school education, your two year degree, to your uh, job training, uh, on the job training type stuff, to four year and masters and, and doctors, all that, all those opportunities. So we really like to think of ourselves as a well-diversified um, employment base. We definitely have a big need in manufacturing and, and the trades. That skills gap really continues to widen as, as we get out. We're really fortunate with uh, community partners like NIAC, our community college, as well as our schools are really getting more engaged in STEM programming and things of that nature. It's really helping that in those areas. 